Hey guys, it's Daniel. The following is a quote from longtime Doors producer Paul Rothschild, where he discusses Jim Morrison's conflict with Light My Fire. This quote is from July of 1981, 10 years from Jim Morrison's death. Quote, The Doors' original success was predicated on one thing, Light My Fire. That was Jim Morrison's great humiliation. It's one of the reasons he lost his enthusiasm. He'd go out on the road, and all he'd hear were people yelling for Light My Fire. As a songwriter, he had a particular reason to hate it. He didn't write it. Robbie Krieger wrote it. In fact, the one part that he did write is my least favorite line. No time to wallow in the mire. But while Jim was alive, I didn't know he wrote that, though. I remember one day while we were making the first album, Jim and I were driving down Sunset Boulevard, and he asked me what I thought about the lyrics to Light My Fire. At that point, I didn't know who wrote it. I assumed he had written it. So I said, gee, I think it's great except for the muck and mire line. It was only recently that Robbie and Ray told me that was the one line Jim had written. He never let that on to me for a second, though. I think that's tremendous. Now, forgetting about the fact that Jim didn't write Like My Fire, Jim was upset that people didn't appreciate the group's more cerebral songs. Certainly, it didn't say as much as the end or when the music's over. But I knew that someday we'd be vindicated that people would come across all this great stuff and say, wow, have you heard of this? That's what's happened the last few years. The greatest thing for me about the whole Doors renaissance is that new fans couldn't care less about Light My Fire. That's not what interests them. It's the broad scope of the Doors lyrics and their sound. They appreciate the honesty of the music. They appreciate it for all the right reasons, finally. Finally. It's for that reason that Strange Days is selling so well now. The fans have found that record. The same with the live album. People want to understand what this strange man was like outside the studio. To me, this is a major victory. It proves that our approach was right. We went after the truth, and finally it's being heard. A decade later. The Doors' career is very satisfying to me.